So MoviePass is making headlines this week, and it's not because they've raised their subscription fees again without telling their subscribers. It is actually that they have cut the cost of their subscription quite significantly from around where I live. It was around $35 to only $10 a month nationwide here in the United States, which is a, a tremendous deal considering you can see one movie every 24 hours uh, for only $10 a month. And as most of you know, if you're living here in the United States, movie ticket prices are insane. Um, with the national average in 2017 for the first quarter being $8.84, and that is from the National Association of Theater Owners, which is pretty crazy, um, although it's not so bad. The tickets around where I live are about uh, $9, $10 a piece. So, hey, Movie Pass sounds great. But how are they doing this? How are they able to only charge $10 a month and not see any loss of profit? And that's what I really wanted to talk about because I honestly think that this $10 a month thing is complete bullshit. Um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but a little bit of backstory here, uh, in case you don't know what MoviePass is, it is essentially a subscription service where you pay X amount of money a month and you can see one movie a day, or actually one movie every 24 hours, but a day sounds better, but you actually physically have to wait um, 24 exact hours before you can see another movie. So you can't go see the 710 show uh, the last Jedi and then go see something else the next morning. You actually have to wait till 710 that night. Um, but yeah, so basically earlier in the year, movie pass was under fire as well because they raised the cost of their subscription, um, without telling their subscribers and they just charged them for it and pretty much said, oh, we're just testing out new features. You don't mind paying an extra $20. Um, I believe Blu-ray Dan really, he was very vocal about this. And uh, that's what really brought it to my attention. And so when I saw that this new crazy um, business model from MoviePass was coming out, I, I was extremely skeptical at first because it just makes no sense and what I've pretty much discovered is that it is the same shit different day so what am I talking about as most of you know like I said earlier in the video um, movie pass has been making crazy headlines because they announced that it is only 995 a month to subscribe and uh, according to this Business Insider article here that I'm reading off of, I'm looking at the computer screen. So if you're wondering why my eyes are over here, but I just want to have my facts straight, all my ducks in a row. Um, the person who wrote this article, I'm sorry, Nick Vega, he was paying $50 a month for his unlimited movie going privileges. So this seems like a pretty crazy deal. 10 bucks a month that is absolutely insane but there's always got to be a catch and when something is too good to be true chances are it normally is and now as of right now i mean this is all going to be uh, i guess what you could say pure speculation but i'm going to hit you with some with some real truth here and uh hopefully you follow along hopefully you understand what i'm saying and hopefully you remain cautiously optimistic for this service um, obviously t the internet was set afire their website was crashing constantly you couldn't even get on it um, because people were so excited because you know most people pay ten dollars for a ticket anyway so they're like hey why don't i pay ten dollars a month and see however many uh, movies i would like which is great in theory however um what I really want to talk about is some stuff that the new CEO of MoviePass, Mitch Lowe, said in an interview with Variety, um, which <laughs> really raised some concerns. And obviously, most of you guys have heard about AMC theaters really pushing back against this because, uh, yeah, nine ninety five a month makes absolutely no sense. It there's no physical way that this is going to be a sustainable business model um, 
But here's what Mitch Lowe had to say about AMC complaining about the price. And they said, quote, they don't understand our business model. Even active moviegoers had to think, is $14.95 really worth it? At $9.95, even people who rarely go say, I'd be crazy not to do that. We need to offset the cost in Manhattan and LA by getting a lot of people in Kansas City and Omaha and places where the average ticket price is five or six bucks to sign up. So here's what he's basically saying, because if you didn't know, Manhattan, LA, ticket prices are absolutely insane. Just for seeing standard shows, I believe it's anywhere from 15 to $20, which is, in, which is absurd. I wouldn't go see movies if I lived in those uh, states or in those cities. So his whole plan is to get a ton of people to sign up like crazy, and then hopefully they don't use it or only use it once a month um, so that they are not costing them a ton of money because obviously if you live in manhattan you, you use movie pass for the ten dollars a month um, they're losing out on five dollars because that is just the way that movie pass operates um, and he goes on to say that everything that amc is saying is all buster but again he kind of plays himself in this interview and he says quote the fascinating thing is we use a mastercard debit card we pay full price for the tickets we buy they would essentially have to not take mastercards in order to block us i don't think you can cancel that agreement without severe penalties now we're not talking about them canceling them out but here's what we want to focus on we pay full price for the tickets so they're paying the full price, so let's use uh, where I live. I live in Indiana. Um, let's use that as an example. Tickets around here are $9.50. Um, so they are paying $9.50 for a ticket, so that's great. Um, they're losing out on $0.46 cents from the subscription fee, which, oh, that you know, that's not so bad, but then you have to think. It gets a lot worse depending on where you live. The bigger cities, the higher the ticket cost, the more money they are losing. So their entire business model is hopefully everyone signs up for this because $10, crazy good deal. And hopefully they either A, don't use it at all, or B, only use it once a month. Because if you use it more than once a month, you're going to be costing them $10, you know, essentially, because you're only paying $10. So anytime you see a movie outside of that one movie a month that you see, it's going to cost them money. And that's where I really don't start to understand how he's so unbelievably confident in this business model and is pretty much saying that AMC is crazy um, in thinking that they could actually take a stance against MoviePass because they use a MasterCard debit card. But listen, AMC is the biggest theater chain in the world. If you do not think for a second that they can find a way around this, you are dead wrong. They will block your ass so fast and then you will go out of business because the, the entire world is dominated by AMC theaters. It's a huge fucking chain and losing out on all of AMC theaters would certainly destroy your business. And it gets even worse, ladies and gentlemen, after I was taking a deeper look into the terms and conditions on MoviePass's webpage, because like I mentioned earlier in the video, they raised their prices earlier this year um, without telling their subscribers. And right in the terms and conditions, right here, I'll put it on screen. Um, so right here, 4.3. MoviePass may make changes to any products or services offered on the site or to the applicable prices for any such products or services at any time without prior notice. Okay, so they can pretty much change the price of the subscription fee and not tell you. Again, like what they did earlier this year and caught major flack for it. I think that really when you get down to this, this is them trying to save face. Obviously, they have a new CEO. They have a new majority um, stakeholder in the company that's really trying to turn this all around. But right here in their terms and services, they let you know we can do whatever we want and we don't have to tell you. Now, it does say... Uh, 
it does say that they have they will notify you when the terms of service change but the price the subscription price is not in the terms and services so again they don't have to tell you when the price is changing it goes on to say that movie pass reserves the right to change the rules of movie going attendance and ticket availability to members at any time now and then it says you will be notified of any changes made to the terms of service prior to your next billing cycle at which point you have 14 days to opt out of the service they also say that they will not make any changes to your plan mid cycle all changes will be in effect at the start of your next billing cycle which again sounds great in theory but the price is not listed there's no firm price in the terms of in the terms of service that say it's going to be 995 and if we change it we're going to tell you so again i think that history might repeat itself because in order to offset the cost of those tickets they're going to have to have probably thousands hundreds of thousands of subscribers to truly offset the cost and to turn a profit because at the end of the day you can't run a business like this uh for for no for no money it just doesn't make any sense so if you're still with movie pass and you're like well that you know that's not so bad i doubt they'll actually raise the price and you might be true but i mean also the convenience factor of movie pass is it's just kind of ridiculous because first off you have to have a smartphone which you know most people do have a smartphone but there's a large portion of people who do not who choose not to who do not want to have all of that technology in the palm of their hand they don't want to be distracted like so many people are who are just constantly on their phones and i respect that i respect that but you have to have a smartphone and you have to be within 100 yards of the theater to actually um, purchase a ticket on the app and then the money gets put on your uh, movie pass debit card because you have to have a card an additional debit card um, to get the tickets if you want to say you know go see star wars the last jedi opening night you can't reserve a ticket for that show unless you go there the day of and chances are um, it's already fucking sold out so you're shit out of luck you're just gonna have to wait which is just super inconvenient because not everyone lives super close to a theater they can't just drive five minutes down the street in the morning go reserve their ticket drive back home some people have to drive 30 45 minutes to their show so you really expect people to just um, be willing to do that and not get angry or upset when they have to when they show up to a theater and find out that the show they're trying to reserve tickets for is sold out and that just really rubs me the wrong way there there, there just has to be a better way to do this um, I understand that they don't want to put the money on your debit card if you're not actually going to see the movie you know they make they want to make sure you're actually there actually watching the movie but come on guys that's a little fucking ridiculous especially because most people who use this service or her who are going to subscribe for the 995 a month are not the people that are going um, every single day or at least you know more than a couple times a month they're going to see the big Marvel movies. They're going to see Star Wars, the stuff that only comes out every so, you know, every couple of months. Furthering with the restrictions, um, you can't you can't see the same movie twice. You can only see one movie one time, and uh, they also reserve the right in their terms and conditions to um, essentially cap you. So if you end up costing them too much money because you're seeing too many movies a month, they'll just straight up cap your ass and say, hey, you can only see two fucking movies a month now. Um, and you can't do anything about it because it's in the terms and conditions and you've agreed to it when you sign up to it. And they pretty much just fuck you over like that. So, And I guarantee it's going to happen because, like I said, with the national average of ticket prices being eight eight dollars and 86 cents there's no way that so many people are going to be using this and then they're not going to just be hemorrhaging money that's really what i don't understand i really don't know how they're gonna do it and they're just so fucking confident about it it just makes me sick i just i can't even fucking believe it another thing that i really wanted to bring up is um 
in the subscription information, obviously it's it's pretty apparent you're only seeing a TD, a 2D movie. You're only seeing a 2D movie every 24 hours. You you know, it doesn't work on 3D, IMAX, 4D, XD, whatever the fuck, D-Box. Um, doesn't work on any of those. And of course, Movie Pass only has a certain number of tickets available for each show. So chances are, you know, if there's other people using Movie Pass and they buy up all the tickets that Movie Pass has allotted for that specific show time and then it's sold out to Movie Pass users. So general public people, there might still be room for them, but if Movie Pass d- didn't, you know, purchase enough tickets for people to see the show, then all of those people who still want to come see it are shit out of luck and have to wait for another show time which again completely stupid and again they make they make note of it like oh you'll be notified of any changes made to the terms of service you have 14 days to opt out like i'm going to read you the capped plan uh in the terms of service here movie pass may make changes to any products or services offered on the site or to the applicable prices for any such products or services at any time without prior notice. MoviePass reserves the right to change the rules of the movie-going attendance and ticket availability to members at any time. MoviePass reserves the right to change from time to time the number of eligible movies a member can see per month. MoviePass reserves the right to offer members a new price option if they exceed watching a certain amount of movies per, per month. You will be notified of any changes made to the terms of service. You have 14 days to opt out. MoviePass will not make any changes to you mid-plan. MoviePass is not responsible for theater programming cancellations or rescheduled performances. So like I just read, it it's it's cut and dry right there. They're they're trying to get so many people in at the 995 mark and then they're hoping that you don't go see this movie. You don't use it a lot so that they're making money, but if you do use it a lot, chances are um, they'll be like, hey, you're seeing too many movies. Um, you pay us twenty dollars a month now, or we'll just cancel your, we'll just cancel your uh, account, which they have done. They do it. They did it earlier this year, literally earlier this year. I see no change in the company other than, hey guys, it's ten dollars a month. Be distracted by this super low price and don't actually look into it because you'll find out that it's a fucking joke. It also is. Um, in the terms of service that they can cancel your uh, subscription at any time for any reason so again they could rate they could say hey the 995 a month is gone for you you see too many movies you need to pay us $25 a month now and if you refuse well then fuck you we're canceling your subscription and that's just complete bullshit. That's what they did earlier this year. And they got so much fucking backlash for it. And they haven't changed a single thing other than the price. And that is what is truly distracting people. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Because I was like, this is the same shit. It's just a different day. It's just a different price. They're just coating. A, they're putting a fresh, paint, a fresh coat of paint on a turd. And trying to sell it to people. And it's working. And that's what's really unfortunate is a lot of these people are probably going to find out in the coming months that Movie Pass is not all it's cracked up to be. So that's that's pretty much it. That's really what I wanted to talk about. I just really wanted to get that out there and make people aware of what Movie Pass is really trying to push off on you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this new version of Movie Pass? Are you going to give it a go? Or are you going to give it a shot? Um, let me know what you thought about all of this information that I've provided to you. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think everything's going to be all right in the end? Or do you think we're going to see a repeat of what happened earlier this year? Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, this is kind of out of the out of the norm for what Out of the Basement normally does. But again, like, like I said, I just really, really felt like I needed to make a video uh, informing people that this is not all it seems and I don't think it's going to be um, 9.95 for very long uh, we'll see them hemorrhaging money so yeah if you're if you enjoyed this video go ahead give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button anyways thanks so much for watching guys if you stayed all the way till the end here what's up 
Um, go ahead, comment down below. Let's talk about Movie Pass. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, I'd love to hear your opinion on the situation. And uh, I'll catch you next time on Out of the Basement.